All right, let's talk about practicality for a minute. Now, this is the Emerson Knives Huck Flipper. There is a Huck fixed blade. This came after the fixed blade. Um, and it's basically the camping knife, for lack of better words. And that's how Emerson kind of designed it as the quintessential camp knife. Cut your steak, do some meal prep, um, do some whittling at the fire in the evenings. You name it, this is all you need for your camping excursions. Now, full disclosure, I ain't been camping in a long time. Um, I've evolved. I mean, I guess I have. I've stayed in RVs. I haven't done like dirt camping, we call it, in a tent, on a sleeping bag, on the ground. No, I haven't done that. And we haven't done a lot of campfire. I mean, we have campfires where the guys are sitting around drinking and telling stories. Yeah, sure. Um, but we're cooking in the RV and doing that kind of stuff. So, I, you know, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt or two. Yeah, see what I did there? Um, this is actually just really cool. This belongs to Alex over at the Watch and Cut Gear channel. And he lent it up to me. And I really just like it. I think it's a great blade shape. It's super rock solid. Uh, I wish the detent was a little bit stronger. On the flipper tab, it just kind of moseys on out. Doesn't fire like a rocket. It gets there. It hasn't misfired ever. But it just kind of gets there. But you back it up with the thumb stud or the thumb disc and it's going to fire out better and give you that more authoritative ka-chunk. And because it is a thumb disc, if you want, you can index finger flick it, reverse finger flick it. I don't know. It's kind of dumb, but kind of fun with this knife. All right, let's talk about some specs. It's five inches closed, eight and seven eighths overall with a 3.86 inch blade. So this is going to be kind of a full size knife, if you will. And this is going to handle whatever it is that you need. So it is a 154 cm blade steel, weighs in at 4.9 ounces, which is the same weight as your D cell battery that comes in right at five ounces. So that gives you an idea, right? 4.9 to five, basically the same. Although, hand in hand, this feels heavier, but I think it's because it's just not balanced the same. Because it's more dense, it's, one, it's a small thing, right? Okay, so, put that off to the side. Nobody cares about that. Overall thickness is 0 0.570. So it's big enough to get a hold of. The pocket clip feels very comfortable in the hand. It's very um, Spyderco-esque pocket clip. I don't love the Emerson on the thing, but that's just me. I don't really love the Spider on the Spydercos either. But that's just me. Personal preference for sure but it feels rock solid in the hand. It's not gonna slip out. It doesn't have exact finger grooves, but it kind of swells up in your hand. So it gives you a lot of grip, a lot of, you put a lot of pressure on here and you don't feel that clip at all. No hot spots or nothing. Super, super comfortable in your hand. Runs on bearings. Now, it has a V grind, which is very normal Emerson. So. There is a bevel here, but then there is no secondary bevel at the very tip or very small, if it would focus. So it's not really a chisel grind per se, but very similar. Got a little bit of branding up on the front of the blade. Okay. One thing you'll notice here is it's a flat head screwdriver for the pivot. Who does that? When's the last time you saw that? I don't think these are ancient, but wow. And then if we go along the body screws, yep. 
It's like a number one Phillips, I guess. I think it's cool. It's very basic. It's very, in my mind, it's very camp tool-esque, right? Because when you're out there just camping and whatnot, you're not bringing all your Torx bits and all your crazy stuff. You're going minimal. And with a flathead or another knife, you can adjust the pivot. And with just a normal Phillips screwdriver, you can take this whole thing apart and clean it if you need to. Even the thumb, st thumb disc is held on with a Phillips head screw. I think it's a really cool idea. And I, I don't even think that's really old school or nothing. I, I think we get a little bit hung up. And, and, and I like it too. Don't get me wrong. When I see really cool custom pivots and custom hardware, like I enjoy that as well. Or your standard kind of torques. I think that's cool too. But sometimes depending on the application of the knife, right? This is just for your camp knife, right? That's the idea and the intent. I think it's perfect to use old school, if you will, hardware. I just think that's a cool way to go. Cuts down on cost, cuts down on anything. Like if you were to lose a screw in the field, you could probably go to the hardware store find one at the same size and just replace it and move on. I think that's an awesome way to go, okay? The scales are rich light handle scales, and that was the only option for this knife when this was available. Now, what is rich light? I, I, I know either. I mean, I've heard it. We've talked about it in the knife community, but do we really know what it is? I'm gonna put a link down below that'll tell you exactly what it is, it is if you wanna nerd out. If you don't care to read all about it because you don't really care, I'll tell you, it's basically um, layers of paper, high quality paper. There's a certain kind of paper that they use um, infused with resin. And so they actually do kind of a carbon fiber. They put a layer of, of paper, the resin, a different layer of paper. They kind of mix, match and cross do it so that it gets it really strong. This stuff is machinable, durable, uh, renewable because all of the paper that they use is recycled type paper. So if you're into that green environment, all of that, this covers all of that. And you can get a lot of different colors, patterns, and all of that based on how they lay the paper, how they then compress it into a solid block and let it cure and dry and all that. It's kind of an interesting process. So if you're so inclined, go check it out down below. Um, I'll put a link to the Rich Made website. Rich Light, not Rich Made. Rich Made is a dude who makes knives. Rich Light is the guy, company, that makes Rich Light scales. And they use it for like kitchen countertops and things like industrial stuff not just knife stuff. So it's kind of cool material. Here it is with a Sharpie. Here it is with the Spider Codelica. Since I pulled out the custom Hellraiser pivot, let's just show you that as well. Very small thumb disc on this guy that's really kind of awkward and hard to use. Or it has a flipper tab because Ed was so kind to make us, us, the world, a few in a flipper configuration. It's super cool. I actually have one here also that's a flipper. This one actually flips a little bit better, I think, than the Black Death series super crazy fancy one. But the rest of the action on this thing is super smooth, great solid clothes. Yeah, all in all, love my Hellraisers. So what do you think about this? The Fixed blade is very similar in shape, size, dimensions, colors um, to this. Comes with leather sheath, you know, basically fixed blade version. This is really the folding version of the fixed blade, but you know what I mean. So there you go. Alex, thanks so much. This is it's just really awesome. It's been fun to have in the pocket. Uh, it will cut just about anything you want or need it to cut. 154 cm is a great blade steel. All in all, 
freaking rocket knife. <laughs>